welcome to the Diva Docs. And we have today me, Elisa O'Keefe Smith, Dr. Zakia Robb, and Dr. Tina Scott, along with Rosie Noib. And today we are talking about child sexual abuse. And it is such a heart wrenching topic because it's something that none of us want to face. We don't want our children to face, but it goes on. And a lot of the times it's hidden. Rosie, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself and about everything you're doing. Absolutely. Hi there. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to be here with such lovely, empowering women. I'm Rosie Morris Rowe. I have a master's in education. I'm a national child advocate, and I'm also a survivor of mm -hmm. child sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. I was four years young when I was abused at the hands of a family member. Mm -hmm. And I remember wow. it well, obviously, it went on. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I remember going to school and thinking, <sighs> I'm alone and no one can help me. Wow. There are limited resources. There were no resources mm -hmm. back when I was growing up. And I did tell a family member, mm -hmm. but unfortunately it was more important from the family to keep the family secret mm -hmm. and not protect me. Mm -hmm. Hence, I wrote, no secrets between us. Wow. So I'm also the founder of Soldiers Against Child mm -hmm. Abuse. It's mm -hmm. a national 501c3 where we really, our mission and goal in life is to protect and empower. As I had mentioned to you, Lisa, I'm also a first grade teacher. Mm -hmm. No, I don't sleep. I <laughs> love it. What I uh, thought was really good about this book, it's actually directed mm -hmm. towards the children themselves and written in a style that they can understand and relate to. I, along with No Secrets Between Us, the book, mm -hmm. I also wrote No Secrets Between Us, the child safety curriculum, mm -hmm. which has been implemented in several states so far. You are going to Washington, D.C. Yeah. with uh, Michael Reagan, yeah. who's Ronald Reagan's son, That's and right. he's very active in politics. Right. And you're on platforms speaking to the politicians right. and getting your book uh, accepted into state curriculums. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. Uh -huh. As you mentioned, Michael Reagan is a dear friend of mm -hmm. mine. Mm -hmm. He is a survivor of sexual abuse wow. and child porn. Wow. That he is an advocate. He is pounding the pavement. Wow. He, he's mm -hmm. opening many doors. Mm -hmm. And that reaction, Elisa, mm -hmm. is very common. Wow. This is what I always say in all of my mm -hmm. seminars, along with child, you know, holding seminars for children, mm -hmm. I hold mm -hmm. seminars for the adults. I'm at Seton Hall University, I'm at Millersville University, where I'm teaching future right. educators. Right. And I say this to all of my mm -hmm. students. If the President of the United States' son can be sexually violated, mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. is immune. That's crazy. Yes. Do you notice that as you're doing your curriculum or as you're training the trainer, um, do you notice that a lot of adults may be coming out saying that it did happen to me and I felt like I couldn't talk about it? I can't tell you how many people come to me after the seminar, grown men in their 50s. Oh. Rosie, I never told anyone, I feel like I can come to you. I feel like I can tell mm -hmm. you. And I, I, it's liberating. Wow. I mean, I kept my secret, no secrets between mm -hmm. us, for years. Wow. I kept it just because I felt like if I told anyone, mm. who's going to believe me? Who's going to help me? I already told, and no one helped me. Wow. And then mm -hmm. I, I was loyal to that family secret. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to um, ask Dr. Tina. You are a psychologist, so you work with a lot of clients that might have uh, survived mm -hmm. sexual abuse. What are big insights that you've learned about uh, the uh, clues to child sexual abuse? The sad thing is that many parents already know. And the thing is, they don't want to destroy the family dynamic, so mm -hmm. they figure, let's settle this thing within and not get the officials involved. Mm. So it's like a hush thing. And what happens is sometimes when they turn into adolescents and teenagers and they're able to speak up for themselves, mm. now they were, they were a victim and now they become an outcast. And now the child is dealing with so many different things. And then once they get into a relationship, mm -hmm. it's hard for them to have intimacy with their mate. If their mate touches them, it, it may send them back to something like PTSD. And they have flashbacks of that event. There's a lack of trust. 
Mm. There's a lack of connection because the people that were supposed to protect them didn't protect them. Yeah. So now they're getting into this relationship that this guy, this person is supposed to protect me, mm -hmm. but now I can't even trust them because there's a lot of baggage that I didn't deal with. And unfortunately, the person that they're in a relationship with don't understand. Mm -hmm. All they know is that they're not getting sex every night. I'm trying to break the silence right. that what happened to you was not your fault. Right. And it's never too late but to hold that person accountable for what they did to you. Hence why Rosie's book is so important, because if you catch it while they're young, mm -hmm. at least you can try to give them time to heal and grow into adults that, you know, you never want to say you have to just get past it, mm -hmm. but at least you're able to cope better. I've had people say to me too, just get over it. Because, mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. Mm. I actually had someone say, and this is true, and this is unfortunate, and this is what we're trying to f correct in right. society. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a girl and eventually you would have been a non-virgin anyway. We can't think like that. Wow. We have to think that mm -mm. our children should be protected. Absolutely. And that's a community. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. just parents, mm -hmm. it's everyone it's all around. Mm -hmm. And I think you brought up some really excellent points. Mm -hmm. We're talking intervention. Let's do prevention. Exactly. Yes. Let's stop mm -hmm. it before it happens. Let's teach our babies that they're exactly. the boss of their bodies, they're the boss of their boundaries and personal space. Exactly. And no one has a right to violate it. Mm -hmm. That's what No Secrets is about. That's right. We're going to tell your, mm -hmm. our littlest babies, as young as mm -hmm. pre K, in mm -hmm. kindergarten, first, mm -hmm. second, third grade, if anybody violates you or attempts to violate you, you have the right to say, stop, step, and tell. That's part of my curriculum. Stop the abuse. Step away from that person and tell. Tell. tell mm -hmm. Keep telling until mm -hmm. someone listens. I love what you're doing. As I know all the Diva Docs do, we, we absolutely applaud you. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is I want you to let the audience know how they can find you on the web and your website. Okay. Uh, good luck to you. You know I'm a supporter of you and we'll continue to support you and we'll bring you on again and again Yay. because I love what you're doing. So uh, go for it. Before I mm -hmm. tell my websites, I just want to talk to the children out there. I want you to know that you're not alone. You did nothing wrong, so you're not to blame and no longer burden the shame. I hear your cries and I promise I will work until my last breath to empower you and protect you from abuse. If you wanted to reach out to me, I'm sorry, if you want to reach out to me, it's soldiersagainstchildabuse at gmail.com or no secrets between us at gmail.com. I'm sorry, I'm emotional. You. <laughs> Thank you. That's the Diva Docs with Rosie Morris and Protect the Children. Sexy.